Well, yesterday, we saw Hilda Dukubo come out to speak on the faces she saw at the unveiling of um, this beautiful project, and she was very offended. I mean, having someone like Senator Elisha Abu on that um, place was quite uncomfortable, and she is demanding that this person stops being a grand patron of um, the AGN. How do you react to that? Thank God you used the word, she's demanding. Everybody is entitled to her opinion. In the first place, if she was not at the event, number one, and then having, uh, having seen that and she felt offended, she would have written a letter to the Guild, maybe in form of a petition. We have mechanisms to deal with these issues. If there's something that the Guild has done that you're not very happy with, you put up a letter to the Guild. Mm -hmm. Or even call me on phone and say, this is what and what. And then you understand the processes. You understand the point. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm president of a two million people, I don't take decisions alone as president. Senator Abo, whatever he is, I do not know him from Adam, but I'm sure the committee that uh, presented his name, you know, screened and eventually approved that he be made a national patron to represent the Northeast zone where he is from. You understand the point? They know all of this. So when you come up to sentimentalize it, you know that the guild is not uh, swayed by such sentiments. What is the process of appointing a patron for the Altos Guild of Nigeria? For, for patronship, you tell the, we have vice presidents of E-Zone and then the chairman of state chapters. So you now tell them to make a point, to nominate from their zones who have been useful to them, who have helped the guild maybe on, on maybe uh, social impact things around the guild. And then when they make such submissions, then the committee will look at the names. Do you understand the point? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, they pass it on to me for my signing of signatures on the certificates to be so presented. Then for, for me to wake up one morning and see on social media a purported member of the guild shouting the guild down and all of that, you know, it's not something that is acceptable. But this is not just about Hilda and the Kubo as well. Kate Hensho has responded and um, they feel that they are not supposed to be represented by someone who does not value the rights of women. So this is going to lead me to my next question. What is the value of AGN when it comes to women's rights and gender equality? The, the issue, it doesn't matter how many people react to this. What matters is, what is the difference between morality and legality before prima facie? You understand the point? The man in question, he has not been proven to be a serial woman beater. If he had a case which no competent court of jurisdiction had convicted him on that matter, why should AGM be robbed into it? This same person has nine, nine membership of nine committees in the Senate. This person is still representing his people in the Senate. Nobody has removed him from that point. Nobody has removed him as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And AGM did not appoint him patron as a measure to celebrate him having beaten a woman. Do you understand the point? The, the patronship came on the heels of his people appointing him, nominating him for this position. You understand the point? So people can turn these things around. All the names you have mentioned have been in this industry for the past 20 years. And I do not think that they have done anything particularly for the Actors Guild of Nigeria, not as individual celebrities who are doing their businesses. When we come to a collective responsibility, it's not when you see these things, you jump on the social media. Social media is not a medium for the governance of our guild, and it cannot be. So you can gather up people, it becomes a conspiracy theory. It's simple that maybe there's something you are pursuing or something you are targeting. But I have said, as an organization, if you see something that is not right, there are mediums. Do up a letter, write or call or send a message and we'll feed you back. What is the role of a grand patron to the association? Is it just a patron, not grand? Just a patron. Okay, what's the role of a patron? A patron, role of a patron, we, this is how we select our patrons. One, when you call the vice presidents or the chairman to select a patron, you must tell them, please select people who have been useful to your guild. For instance, if you go to the Northeast where we have members, we have five states of Actors Guild of Nigeria in the Northeast. We have Bauchi, we have Gombe, we have Adamawa, we have Yobe, we have Taraba, and we have Borono State. Now, this area, you must know that has been this Boko Haram area. In the last how many years, they've not been working. But there are people who attend to their needs. Sick people, there are people who assist them because of the guild level. The recent army film that we shot, I had to move the film 
to Borono State to ensure that people from that area get jobs. Do you understand? How many of our actors have considered the plight of these people? And then when you told them, select Patreon, you leave it to them. And when they brought these names, there are about six names that were pruned down to get to the two, the two senators, the woman and the man for the Northeast. And then when you come up with this kind of issue, you find out that it's not just, we don't make patronship for, for money. It's not about money. It's about what are the things that you have done for our association in the years past. For the association or for the society? Society is one, mm -hmm. association is two. If you are doing much for the society and you're not doing for the association, of course. So Elisha work. Abu has done much for, for the society. For the Northeast. At, okay. For the Northeast, which necessitated their nominating him for that position for Actors Guild of Nigeria from the Northeast. We okay. have other people that yeah. we have picked, different places in different zones. The first time you saw his name on that list, because you had to go through them for confirmation, yes. did you feel any type of way? Uh, feel like it depends on the feeling you're talking about. I know the story they are raising, mm -hmm. but you see, and I, we, we saw the slap, even see, if we know that yes, we we're supposed to be okay. a competent court. Okay, law, hold. Right? you we saw say, the slap, yeah. We Did saw you also happened. see the apology? Yeah, we saw the apology. Which a lot of the, people are saying that apology that, is that not it, see, it doesn't, it doesn't count. What you should be asking here is whether did he come out to apologize? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Will you now be is the woman involved? Did the woman say she didn't accept the apology? in all of this that we're saying. Mm. For crying out loud, when I mention morality and legality, you ask us who is holier than Senator Abu. There was a committee set up in the Senate on this same matter, and the committee did not convict him. Is Actors Guild a body to be used to do all of this? People should just go and see that. There's no point sentimentalizing issues, just maybe to drive a point. We know, where, we know the stage where people who are fighting for women's rights operate, mm -hmm. but not within the confines where Actors Guild is involved. I don't want to begin to mention names, but if we begin to dig into people's personal lives, honestly, people who have mentioned these names, they may not even stand in the morality test. But I don't want to go that way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not enough for anybody who feels they a member of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. That is, if they are, the difference between a star and a member, they are two different things. You can be a star, you can be a celebrity, but you're not a member of our guild. Is Hilda Dokubo and Kit a member of your guild? We have to check the membership list. I do not know all the members. Like I told you, we have two million people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the point? What makes you a member is how much have you paid the guild in the last two years? Do you have the guild's identity card as I'm hanging? If you're working and you have issues, how can the guild fight for you? We must check your membership status and all of that. So when you go on social media, something that you ought to settle in in-house and go on social media, I do not know whom you are trying to impress. Unfortunately for whoever that is shouting is that decisions of an association, an organization is not what you, you get from social media. Do you understand the point? So these are issues that I do not want to join issues with anybody because the guild has had different crises, leadership and otherwise, for over the years, and nobody came out to say, we need to stop this. And now in the last three years, we're about getting there. The event we had in Abuja became the very first event we had in AGN, in the first time of the Guild. You can imagine an event that, of course, swallowed even the stars that, that came for the event. An event that we had federal government well represented, the police, the army, the Senate, different people you know, represented in that event. And it's an event that you should, first of all, say, ah, for my guild to have achieved this, but there's a mistake here, can we talk about it? And then you jump on the social media and begin to do video and draw attention to yourself, and you want me to come and react and begin to talk with you, no, 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 I don't do such things. So we have a focus where we're going and what nobody is the, what can is the distract us. What's the feedback and complaint mechanism for members of your association? That's assuming some do not know about I it. I said it. If you're in a state chapter, for instance, you're in Lagos, and you have this kind of issue, you call whoever is the chairman of your Lagos State chapter. If you have opportunity to be talking with the president directly, you can call. I could tell you, okay, please write, write it, let me look at it. Let me tell somebody to look at it. And some of these things are things we can do in-house. But I understand that social media has become a place where people jump on maybe to draw attention to themselves. By the end of the day now, every week, in this country, a, an emir was dethroned. Within one week, it's no longer news. You know, that's the way social media happens in Nigeria. But I want to be very straight about it. We cannot take decisions with social media noise. 
Okay, good. So basically, Hilda and Kate Henshaw needs to write a letter if they very, are very, a very member good. of the association, of course, like you said.